What is up? I'm Wanda Turtle, and today we have another PSA returns video. Um, this one has a lot of good stuff. So the submission was actually like 80 cards. Um, it includes some patron cards, but um, so I'll probably split up into two shorter videos. But let's just get in right into our first one, and it is a really good card, the Scream Pikachu. Um, if you don't know about these cards, um, Unfortunately, it might be a little too late. I do think they're worth having in your collection if, at lower grades if necessary. Um, but so in general for PSA, and we got another one, both Gem Mint 10. So happy about this. Um, I feel like all the cards I've, raw cards I've built up over the past like five years of getting back into collecting have been all sent to PSA. Uh, I'm still submitting cards whenever they have their specials. Another Gem Mint 10, very nice. I think Psyduck is the second, or there's the Mimikyu, but the, you know, those are so rare. Uh, then Pikachu, then Psyduck. Uh, so really happy to get another 10 here. But um, I'm still submitting cards, but kind of like that that huge backlog I once had is basically all gone. And, which is, which is a good thing, because now they're all graded. But I feel like, you know, th these screen cards are an excellent example of I'm not sure how to approach things next. So like these were 2018. At that point, there was a lot of, you know, I'm just guessing a lot of people got back into the game, you know, around that 2020 era. And so moving forward, like all these unique Japanese cards, um, and actually I think the second part of this series uh, will have an example of it, uh, where I think there are some Japanese promos that are on, you know, close to the same level of uniqueness as these, as these screen promos, but because now like, you know, everyone's looking for them, you know, there's just not as many uh, good, you know, buy it now for X dollars and, and like, you know, I think it'll be worth a lot more in the future. Uh, not that that should be the goal, but um, here, this is like the uh, pretend grunt. This is the regular. And then we have the full art right here. Got this one at 10. I think as far as the pretend Pancho Pikachus, this one's, you know, not the best one. I think, you know, all the other ones are better but this one's very cool uh but just to, to give an example to illustrate my point so like not i don't want this to come off as like a humble brag it's more of like the reality of the situation and i'm not sure what i should be targeting now is back in 2018 when these things first came out when probably just because a lot less people in the game uh collecting game and here we have the beautiful charizard one so yeah come to this compared to the team yell grunt uh that this one's obviously much better PSA 10, super happy about that. Uh, so like the Pikachus, I think they were like on eBay, you could buy them shipped from Japan for like $70 and like, you know, grades of 10, you know, four years later and just like take a quick look on eBay what the prices are. And, and you know, I don't think you can do that anymore. There just aren't cards out there. Like everyone's so aware of everything now, uh, which is which is fine. Uh, still collect what, what you really like. Here we have the Magikarp. Uh, ironically, I don't know why I had like a Charizard and a Magikarp. I'm not sure where the Gyarados and the uh, the Mega X, I think, went. Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of like, I'm not sure if I should just be moving forward, uh, picking up raw or, you know, just buying graded. I don't think, I'm not that interested in, in buying like all the Chase modern cards. Um, all right, so something different. Very nice Snorlax shout out to uh, Ty. I think you'd be a fan of this card. Uh, Delta Species is such a unique era. And I think now with like Alolan, Hosoian, that those kind of things, like we're unlikely to see this again, but this was a cool era to see a um, Snorlax that is grass type. And now we're moving on to some other pretend Pikachus or Pancho Pikachus. This, these are like, you know, obviously not full arts. Um, and not like the best Pokemon uh, reflected and but you know all these things they're just unique um, never saw an English printing so I just really like having these in the collection and I think this was yeah this is a Pokemon Center one uh, so obviously similar but not kind of like part of that pretend poncho series so we got two of those and this is the Yokohama one I don't know too much about the city of Yokohama but I'm guessing it's some kind of port city and so we got like Sailor Pikachus um, you know, even even these still in the 2018 era, and I'm not sure if there were just more of these, but they're definitely not as sought after. Maybe it's just like a full art thing. Uh, but either way, still happy to add these to the collection. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm missing how many of these Pokemon Center promos I'm missing. I'm sure there's a lot of them. Uh, but that's probably like a goal I would like to achieve is just to have all of them graded. Um, ideally, ideally PSA 10, but there's some like really old ones. I um, bet I'll have to go down a notch or two. Here we have, oh, this one's an eight. 
Uh, I have actually have a this card I like so much the art that I actually have a playmat of it, um, but I don't, I don't use it. I just kind of want to keep that one on the side. Uh, but obviously, very nice tea party um, Pikachu, very unique art. And this was Kyoto. But no worries, we got the ten um, again. Yeah, so probably a near-term goal. Maybe that's why I can start working on um, after I've graded all the cards I want to grade. All right, moving on to some more vintage stuff. Very nice card, shiny magic card. Near Mint 7, happy with that. Uh, I think I bought all these like kind of like secondhand raw. So anything 7 or above is perfectly, I'm perfectly happy with. These, these I think would cost like $18. It was like their first special after um, coming back, after they like reopened the doors for, for grading. And I think these like Neo Rev PSA 7s, I don't know, I feel like maybe it's just supply and demand, but I feel like they're surprisingly cheap for how old this card and, you know, there's no such thing as buying, like, opening your rev, like, you know, this, a pack would cost twice as much as as just buying this card. So, I don't know, I, I feel like I already have a bunch of copies, so I don't think I need more, but I do feel like they're pretty good, uh, at a pretty good price point uh, if you don't have one yet. Okay, so we do have some modern cards. I think I just, at one point after maybe six months after Evolving Skies came out, I just picked up a bunch of the alt arts. And I think I kind of got it, uh, picked these up kind of probably pretty good timing uh, before like they continued to, to go up despite being reprinted a few times. This is actually one of my favorite alt arts. I just love the idea of like this big Leafeon helping some farmer out with his with all the work that needs to be done on the farm. Unfortunately, it did get a nine, although I think I knew that going in. I felt like the centering wasn't perfect. It looks pretty good, actually. Um, so, but still content with the nine. And at the time, like a lot of the alt arts, like this one was actually pretty cheap, but then I didn't pick up the more expensive ones. Um, don't have huge regrets. I mean, obviously it was probably cheaper then, but uh, I did pick up some of the regular V ones. We got the Umbreon. This one did get the 10, very nice. Glaceon V just got the nine unfortunate. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely centering. Um, but I do always have a Glaceon I'm a big fan of. We got the Sylveon, got a 10. Fortunately, this is not my favorite one. I'd rather get like the Glaceon one as the um, gem mint. This one I'm happy with. Battle Styles, obviously not a very good set, but this was for me the big chase card. Uh, just this passed out T-Tar, <laughs> like I think. Um, some discard called them the drunk T-Tar. So really happy to get this one in the 10. All right, now we're moving on to another unique Japanese promo, the Nagaba. Um, actually, don't remember what the story is. Uh, if you don't have one of these, I think it's a good time to pick them up. They're starting to come back from PSA. So many copies of, of these are out there and I'm pretty sure they're very cheap. Okay, now we got something unique. Um, during probably around 2018, 2019, uh, I think I, I picked these up off like Troll and Toad or something. Um, saw these primes and they were really cheap uh, back then and thought these were really unique cards. The, the All the art is like very zoomed in. Reminds me of like Pokemon Snap or something. Uh, so I feel like it's a very, even now, underappreciated uh, era. And maybe there's just a lot of them because um, you know I feel like the prices are still not that high. And we got two of the Umbreon and two of the Espeon. All these so far have gotten sevens, which eh, no, there's some whitening down there. So totally understandable. Can't complain about that. But yeah, no eights or above, unfortunately. All right, so we did grade a Charizard V Max. Only got the nine. Um, Shining Fates in general, uh, like I do have a bunch sealed. I do feel like the center is pretty good. Maybe just this corner is slightly thicker than this side. And I don't have too high hopes for this, you know, nowhere near what Hidden Fates was in my opinion. And Shining Fates is still available. Alright, we do have a Lugia First Edition, which is awesome. Did only get the 5. Which I feel like is a little tough, to be honest. I see a little whitening down here. I mean, I definitely wouldn't say this is 8, but like, I don't know, 6 or 7. I feel like it's reasonable. Maybe there's more scratching on, on the hollow than I can see. But um, I feel like this grade is a little harsh. Still, we got some really cool Neo Era cards. Shining Raichu. Um, happy to have this collection. Don't have too many, so I, you know, didn't really have no intention of selling. So I'm not sure how priced this is, but I don't know. Something about the art is 
really nice about this shining Raichu. Um, Raichu isn't one that changes a lot with the shining, but this one I feel like he's like ice skating or something. All right, moving on to a big one. Not a great grade. We see tons of wear on this, but it is a huge card. It is the Gold Star Charizard. Um, you know, I think I think for for my like among my most valuable cards is like a higher version, higher graded card, higher grade version of this card. Um, and I don't have too many, uh, so happy to add more. Like I think the five is warranted. Uh, but yeah, compared to like this to that Lugia, um, this thing looks way worse. So I think this one, obviously not a good, deserves this grade. To Lugia, I don't feel like, feels a little tough, but happy to add these collection. I think, you know, I had like a one. <laughs> it was like still sell for quite a bit. All right, more moving on. Oh, this is like the, this is the regular art of the Luigi, obviously. And um, definitely my number one favorite card is probably between the Screams and this these cards right here uh, the full arts obviously are, i like more but we have the luigi only got the nine but the mario did get the 10. so if one has to get the nine definitely i'm happy with this result uh but yeah mario pikachu full art that's got to be my number one favorite card all right and as usual i tend to submit a handful of base charizards um at this point, like my stack of Charizards, all the nice ones have been submitted a long time ago, so I tend to get weaker grades. Uh, six, I think the last video I did, I think there was like a two. So definitely all my good old ones are gone. And all right, just a couple cards left. Uh, so Ultra Shiny GX, I think I talked about this last time, just bought a ton of them when this set first came out in Japan. Uh, I think they were like $70 a pop uh, shipped, so. Finally got most of them off to PSA and they're starting to flood in. And I think we have some more in the next video in some more languages. So the ones languages I'm aware of are English, obviously, Japanese, Korean, and Chinese. I'm not sure if there's other languages this, this set was printed in, but I do want to have every version. Surprisingly, it's not that easy to search for what other languages printed in. Uh, so those are the ones I'm aware of and I do want to collect all of them. But um, yeah, kind of uh, running out of stuff to grade. Um, just curious what other people's approach are after you run through all your raw cards. Um, what's what's your approach going to be? I'm trying to figure out what mine is. But uh, yeah, sec part two will come shortly. Uh, I think we have some patron cards in there and some more unique Japanese stuff. So thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.